Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Harvey's New Eyes. Last time, we finally uh, got rid of Garrett, more or less. He's locked in his listening booth, so uh, luckily he's out of Edna's hair, because most likely he works for Dr. Marcel, and now we need to just make sure all evidence of Edna is gone from this place so Dr. Marcel cannot find her. Oh, hello. You're all by yourself. Lily had always thought Shy was very pretty. Much prettier than... Oh, yeah. That's why... Hey, Shy. Um... Oh! Hello, Lily. I was just thinking of Riot Girl. Riot Girl is totally cool. Because Riot Girl wears Shibuya clothes. Don't you think that's totally fascinating? <sighs> Suka also thinks that Riot Girl is totally cool. And Suka likes Shibuya too. Shibuya is totally cool. Don't you think so too? Um, yes. Yeah, it certainly makes you think. I think way too much about things like that. My brain is getting all fuzzy. But Riot Girl is cool, right? Do you really think so? Or do you think so because your friend thinks so? Hmm. Anyway, there's someone new down there. Hello? Lily was delighted. She'd never seen a living clown up close before. Only the dead one that appeared at her window at night. Ah, oh, so we get to see a living one now. That's cool. Yeah, dead ones usually aren't very much fun. You poke them with a stick and nothing happens. You? No. Oh, another one of them. Get lost. I'm not in the mood for jokes today. Then why did you put on all your makeup and clothes and everything? Um... You're probably wondering what I'm doing here, right? My name is Ernest. Funny Ernest. <laughs> and I applied as a child therapist here. But no, Mother Superior had already found someone else. That Dr. Marcel. A nuthouse shrink. Can you believe it? I wouldn't let that guy anywhere near my kids. Even if I knew where they were. <sighs> <sighs> That's what I get for retraining as a psychologist. Laughter is the best therapy. Great idea. I've been waiting for a gig for months. I should have stayed a plumber. You haven't made the best career choices, have you? What? You don't like the mood I'm in? You want me to show you a few tricks now or what? I feel terrible. Because my therapy concept flopped. Laughter is the best therapy. Great idea. How oh, rotten. Hey, laughter is the best medicine. Unless you have diarrhea, then uh, it can be troublesome. Um. What? No. Oh. You want to see a few tricks, don't you? I knew I shouldn't have said that. Okay, I'll make you a deal. I'll make you a cute balloon animal, and you leave me in peace, okay? Uh-huh. All right. What's it gonna be? Okay, so we have a whole bunch of choices here. Now, ultimately, what I'm going to want is actually the wrench. But there's an achievement here if you just keep having him make different balloons over and over and over again. So I'm going to just do that and I'm going to skip ahead to when I actually do it. Well, once I do all of these first, let's show them all off. A poodle. The classic. Ah, uh, how about a giraffe? Whoa. A giraffe then, how original. But it's only one balloon a child. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. A giraffe then, how original. Um, What's wrong? It's a short neck giraffe. Okay, how about a pterodactyl? Okay, a pterodactyl then. Always the same thing. But it's only one balloon a child. Oh. Huh. Okay. Wait. Um. Ah, you think they look different to this? Then show me a photo. <laughs> a wrench? But it's only one balloon a child. A wrench? Why not? I know all about wrenches. And he actually makes a wrench. Yay! The human genome? Very funny. It hasn't even been decrypted yet. A hypercube? I don't do them anymore. 
They always make me dislocate my shoulder. <laughs> all right, that's too bad. So I'm just going to go through all these back and forth over and over and over again until I get the achievement. Okay, this is taking so too long, so I'm going to do it off screen. <laughs> yeah, apparently for the achievement, you have to do somewhere like 50 balloons, and I just have to go to the dialogue box over and over again. So it'll be, I'll just do it off screen. You? Why are you staring at my cigarettes like that? They're not for sensitive children like you. Got it. Just don't ask me about Dr. Marcel. I wouldn't let that guy anywhere near my kids. Okay, he's a yeah. he's known everywhere for hating children. Ever since a little girl shoved him down the stairs. <laughs> Serves him ah. right. That old twit. So now we know the canonical ending of uh, Edna and Harvey the Breakout. Where you could either go along with him or shove him down the stairs. And Edna shoved him down the stairs and now he's hi in hiding. Um. I used to be a plumber. Now I plumb people's souls. What's so hard to understand? Oh, well. Anyway, we got ourselves a balloon wrench. Remember, Edna's balloon is right here. It was hopeless. Edna's balloon was... He oh, yeah, we've always seen that. As you see, the... Uh, Chandelier is hanging from this part. The chandelier's chain was attached by just one screw. Maybe this was a way to get to Edna's balloon. Well, if we try to uh, twist it off. <sighs> Lily wasn't able to loosen the screw with her bare hands. She needed a different tool. Hmm. We do have a balloon wrench. The wrench somehow reminded Lily of a poodle. I guess we could give it a try. What Lily now did was actually void of all logic. And she could already hear uproar of the online reviewer. But she did it anyway. <laughs> the online reviewer sounded a bit hoarse today. Maybe they shouldn't smoke so much. Yeah, maybe so. And hey, the balloon's down now. So let's grab it and, uh... Lily thought Edna's self-portrait was very well done. She would have given her right arm to draw like that. Unfortunately, she wasn't strong enough to get through the bone. Ah, uh, too bad. Alright, so uh, we can uh, grab it now, and I guess the clown's off entertaining other children. Done. Now only two pieces of evidence were left to completely erase Edna's tracks. Perfect. The clown had just left his cigarettes here. He must have been in a great hurry. I guess so. Hey, Mr. Gnome. Thanks for uh, brightening up my day. Alright. <clears throat> That's one down, two to go. So, let's see. Now there are firecrackers right up here, but uh, they're way too high for us to get to. And I think the doorway is here, but Capu's blocking it. Lily, I really have to ask you something. Do you like me? Uh huh. Thank goodness. I wasn't really sure because there's Ooh. something on my mind. It's it's about my feelings, okay. and I'd like to ask you a really huge favor. Would you do something for me? Uh huh. Really? Wow, I'm so excited. Okay, calm down, Capu. So, would you... Yes. ...give this letter to Shai? Wait, what? Uh-huh. <sighs> I really have to meet her. So, could you just give her the letter? Man, that's so cool of you. You're really the best, Lily. You broke my heart, Capu. You broke my heart. Oh, well, anyway, Shai is this away. Oh, that's what happens if you look at it. She decides. That's sad. Anyway. Oh, what fabulous thing do you have there? Is it for me by any chance? Lily hesitated. Certainly not because she begrudged Shy her meeting with Capu. No. She was worried. Who knew what sort of things could be in the envelope? A snake? A scorpion? The anthrax virus? In the end, she decided to give Shy the letter. After all. Uh huh. Wow! It's from Capu! 
to put on more glitter. Apparently, the letter didn't contain the anthrax virus. Thank goodness. <laughs> uh, quick, ti quick tip, girls. Guys don't like lots of glitter. We just don't. Don't bother with it, please. Jeez, how'd she get ahead of me? Lily didn't want to disturb the two. They deserved to enjoy the moment. Soon, they'd start to hate each other. And Shy would start losing her hair from all the grief. Ah, yes. Love. Adorable. Lily didn't want to disturb the two. They deserved soon okay. and Shy. So, if you look at them or interact with them, it's that same thing. But... We can go up here now, and the firecrackers are right here. Hooray! Lily had found Edna's firecrackers. How did they ever get up there? Hmm. Well, let's uh, see if we can grab them. Let's use the uh, knife. The sword was sword. almost long enough to reach the firecrackers. But only almost. Lily needed some kind of extendable arm. Hmm. So we can't get to the rope either, but using a bit of logic, if we put it right here... The sword may not have reached the firecrackers or the rope, but it fit perfectly into the mesh of the clock hands. So perfectly that it got stuck in there. Now what was Lily to do? Wait until the gargoyle dropped down of its own accord? She didn't have that much time. Now luckily, the sword will go up, cut that rope, that thing will come down with the firecrackers and we can get them. So we just have to... Wander around and wait. Did I hear something? The clock in the tower sounded duller than usual today. Was it really that late already? Hmm. Oh, it came down. And I guess these two lovebirds found themselves a nice private place. Finally, the firecrackers were within reach. If only Kappa had seen how cleverly Lily had managed all this. But he and Shy were now in a better place. Probably in the garden behind the cafeteria. Ooh. Done. Now, only one piece of evidence was left to completely erase Edna's tracks. All right. <clears throat> And let's go check on Birgit. I know she was uh, working hard on something. Apparently, Birgit had set down her work, but she had completed the banner with the Puma motif. Too bad that Lily couldn't congratulate her on the good job she'd done anymore. Uh, well, she's just going to be hanging around here for a while, but uh, let's grab this. I'm getting, uh, getting flashbacks to Doki Doki Literature Club. So let's hang the real banner up and make uh, Mother Superior happy. Ah, that's what I call an outstanding motif. Effective and controlled. A symbol of complete self-control. Just like the directors of this convent. This will impress the doctor. Come along, Lily. Birgit has earned another award. Her diligence and reliability will be rewarded with a celebration. If you say so. So let's Lily go join the party. jumped in the air with excitement. There hadn't been a celebration in the convent for a very long time. Mother Superior had already begun the ceremony when Lily entered the classroom. It was a lovely celebration. The only odd thing was that Birgit was nowhere to be seen. And I hereby award you a Golden Girl Scouts badge on a ribbon. Your embro... Broidering skills and excellent sense of duty are a superb example to your fellow students. You, Birgit, are a textbook example of how strict and systematic g -g 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 guidance can result in great achievements. Ah, Lily, follow the example of your fellow student and do some cleaning. If only all ch ch children were as conscientious as Birgit. Uh, we all can't be the as The celebration as she is. was very short, but Lily enjoyed it anyway. This <laughs> was probably the best day of her life. Ah, There it was. The Golden Girl Scouts badge on a ribbon. 
Birgit had certainly earned it. But why had she left it out like that? I don't know. Let's uh, just keep it for her. To make sure Lily no one else takes the it. The Girl Scout's badge was much too precious to leave lying about like that. She put it in her pocket just to be safe. There we go. And there's a cake. Lily had never seen a cake so up close before. She could have cried out of happiness for Birgit. Hmm. The cake was meant for Birgit and no one else. Lily didn't even deserve to lick the pastry shell. Uh, no cake for us. Anyway, now that we have a badge... That's a scout's badge. We might be able to do something more in here. Hey! Don't touch it! That's my old Boy Scout equipment. I might be old, but I can... I can tell you stories that'll make you... Some of oh, yeah. them are about my butt. Also yeah, lucid by Boy Scouts. Hand. We've heard that. I believe we've heard it. Anyway, let's show them that we are a scout, kind of. I guess the badge qualifies us as long as we hold it. But that's... That's the Golden Girl Scout's badge on a ribbon. I had no idea I was talking to a genuine scout. I was a boy scout once, you know. <laughs> well, knock me over with a... with a... with my things over there. They're lying in that chest, you know. Because among scouts there's no such thing as ownership and... and... <sighs> oh. Well, anyway, we can get the musket, and let's check inside the... Lily was used to not looking at knives anymore. She found the enticing way the light twinkled on them a little disturbing. Hmm. But we can grab it. We know someone who is missing a knife. So if we go into the cafeteria, we can hand that over. What do you have there? Is that my knife? Uh-huh. It's just unbelievable that a little brat like you is running around with a knife! Let me tell you, the youth of today are as rotten as next week's canned goulash! Don't you know how much damage a knife like that can do? Uh-uh. Did I show you? Uh-uh. You see? So hand it over before you hurt someone! Unbelievable! A little girl with a knife! So irresponsible! Here! Take this chainsaw instead! Now that I have my knife back, I won't need it anymore! Ah, uh, what a good adult to make sure we're not carrying a knife around. Anyway, now that we have that chainsaw, we might be able to carve out that uh, etching that's in that tree. So let's... Go, uh, see about doing that. Oh, hey, look who it is! Suka didn't seem to notice Lily. Lily didn't hold it against her. She was just worried that Suka might regret it someday. <laughs> Suka didn't seem to notice Lily. Lily didn't. She right. did. So why should she long for Suka to fall off the swing and break all her bones? There was no reason at all to have thoughts such as these. I was just going to say the same thing. Oh well. Anyway. Um, let's get rid of that etching, so let's take a look. What a shame that Lily had to remove the inscription. After all, it was the only proof that she did actually have a friend in this world. Ah, It's like she had Edna Cardin, Edna and Lily. But, uh, we gotta get rid of it. The idea was good, but unfortunately there wasn't any gasoline for the chainsaw. Hmm. Well, we can improvise. We have a uh, jar of alcohol here. Lily had a brilliant idea. High proof alcohol was an excellent fuel substitute for the gasoline chainsaw. Mother Superior would really be proud of her. All right. There we go. Done. Lily had finished all of Edna's jobs and had gotten rid of all of the evidence. She could hardly wait to tell her best friend all about it. Lily, thank 
God, I have a new and much more serious problem. I can't find my diary anywhere. And all my escape plans are written in it. I even drew a map where I marked my hiding place. So forget about getting rid of the evidence. Um... Nah. No, no, just forget it. Hmm. It wasn't important anyway. The diary now has top priority. Please, help me look for it. If Mother Superior gets her hands on it, I'm done for. It has to be somewhere around here. Of course, Lily immediately knew what to do. <clears throat> she immediately knew what to do. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we gotta get to Edna's diary now, but can we find it and hide it? We're just gonna have to find out next time on Let's Play Harvey's New Eyes. Thank you for watching and have a good day.